welcome you guys. I will begin this session with a clearing and connecting ritual. I will then share the messages and close with a prayer and blessing. I was burning sage, some white sage, and I am burning some neroli essential oils right now to clear any negativity and bring in positivity for us all. While I do this again, please scan yourself for any negative attachments and blockages, allowing the smoke to dissipate these maladies. Replace any lack of forgiveness for self or others with love, feeling yourself becoming lighter and freer as you do so. Open your crown chakra and let pure white light flow into your being, helping to protect you from negativity. Please put your hands in your favored prayer position. And while the singing bowl is ringing, take a deep, deep breath, holding and releasing it slowly while mentally or verbally chanting OM. Feel yourself connect with your higher self and its connection to the bliss of the divine source. Become one with one. As I did in the shuffling and layout of this spread prior to recording, I again welcome my higher self connected to divine source to assist me in delivering these messages. We will begin with our question for this reading. How can self-respect and self-compassion make me aware that I am the master of my universe? The card in the center is for the solar plexus chakra. The card on the left is a helping message from the inner earth cities. And our card on the far right is a message from the soul star chakra. These are coming in to help the energy here. You may find this week that you may have in a vision or a sense of heightened imagination. You may feel exceptionally creative, perhaps around the full moon that we will be experiencing, I believe on All Hallows Eve. This energy may make you want to celebrate a little bit more. It may have you in a festive mood. It may have you feeling like you've been entranced a little bit by some raw energies. And I feel as if you're going to get a breather if you've been in a lot of routine lately and things have become a little lackluster and mundane. There's this sense of feeling a little bit more spirited um, and more so than just playful. This is a, a heightened sense of spirituality that moves towards a feeling like magic is possible and that you are part of that ability to create or transform things, you know, even like the, the alchemist to a certain degree here. And it's about uh, your awareness and your focus on that, giving yourself the opportunity to experience this.
Now I am feeling as if you have maybe some energies that you've collected recently that have you feeling mm, like you don't quite know what to do with them. They've caused maybe some haziness, a slight bit of frustration, um, a little disharmony, we'll say, perhaps here for you. Yet there seems to be many uh, directions coming out of this, many paths that you can take. And yet this is kind of going back to, I think, Monday's message where you still, you understand that you can move forward on these paths and these options and that you're empowered to do that. Yet you, you don't quite know you know, what, what the uh, outcome is going to be. You can only take things step by step. And so there's a hesitancy, I feel, to, to feel secure in whatever's going on right now because at your core, you may be unclear. And we have to experience this. You know, everything has its other side to it. So you've probably had the opportunity to be in a lot of clarity lately. And there's just times when we have to experience otherwise. I clearly see though that even though you may be starting from this area, that as you move through the process, you will be able to collect lots and lots of illumination through it. And to trust that whatever route you are going to choose will be favorable. You may want to spend some time, if you need a little bit of extra help here, tuning in. Uh, maybe doing a meditation, imagining the gold light coming through your crown into your third eye. And just, it doesn't have to be a lengthy me meditation, but just enough to shift your energy a little bit. And it's almost like a, a think before you, you speak type of of energy here, like you're charging yourself like a crystal <laughs> in a way, and you need to charge yourself so that you are holding the energy that you need to be able to envision and create and act from in your power. Okay, so we are going to end it there. I am going to close with a few more messages for us. I honor you for living your truth for the highest good of us all, using the gift you came to share with the world to help evolve human consciousness. Love is your superpower. Remember, you are part of the great mystery. Know at any time you may request the assistance of your ancestors. You are the medicine, so please help heal Gaia and yourself. Donate your time or resources to restore equality and other, oh, and offer compassion to all sentient beings. Thanks and praise to all emanations of the pure white light for their grace and wisdom. Eternal blessings to you and yours. Peace unto you always. In finality, my gratitude to each and every one of you for your likes, your shares, subscribes, and donations, affordable bookings directed by your personal questions are available. So indulge by navigating to my website through the link in the description box. Found through my playlists are seven types of readings as well as nature bathing soundscapes and spiritual meditation compilations. You may also find me on Instagram at Feather Crown Tree, featuring similar yet uniquely distinct content. Much love to you.